Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab where we will do blue-green deployment of our existing CRUD application. So right now it is up on four EC2 instances backed by ALB and ASG. And right now it is green, let us convert it into blue. Okay. All right. So index.ejs. And if we have to make it into a blue one, I don't think it is bad blue. Okay. Lighter tone it is becoming grayish. Okay. Save this. That's it. And git add. All right. Git commit and changed index color to blue. Sounds good. And then git push. And let us create a new build. Now, this is where we are missing code pipeline, right? Otherwise, if code pipeline was there, just a git push and build would have happened, deployment would have started. We will see that in next section. And this is where I, I, I cannot help but wonder what if pipelines were not there? It would have made our life so much harder okay so first the build and build project and start build and when the build happens first we need to start that five okay and change the index color to blue so it is picking up the latest revision and once it is done, then this is where it is going to be available. And then we will do the deployment. We will try and set up some triggers this time so that when the deployment fails or the deployment succeeds in both the cases, we will get an email notification. And yes, since we're talking notification, we will be using SNS. Okay. So the build has succeeded. Let us refresh this. And although I don't think refreshing this makes a lot of difference, it's just sort of free to. Okay. Exit. And this is the URI. URI is also the same. So now we need to do the deployment applications this is the only application we have where we have two deployment group let us select the one that has asg and alb and let us edit this first okay this time the only edit is about the triggers let us see if we can add triggers okay so let us click on create trigger trigger name deployment successful event is deployment succeeds and for this the yeah we can select multiple one as well but let us only select deployment succeeds and then the SNS topic is the one that we have. That's it. Create trigger. And let us create one more. Deployment fails. And the event for this is deployment fails. And the same SNS topic. Okay. Let us see which notification do we get so an unspecified error occurred check your network connectivity and then check to see if there were are any issues with the service hmm. let me refresh this 
Okay. So advanced. Okay. Let us create the triggers once again. Deployment success. And okay, and the SNS topic is my first topic. Let us click on create trigger. Let us create another one for deployment fails and let us select this and then the same SNS topic and let us see which one we actually get okay great okay, no we don't want to delete it save changes duplicate trigger target ARN detected okay then let us delete one delete trigger now it should be good save changes so it means we have to create one sns topic for one trigger all right or we could have selected multiple triggers in one go and then it would have taken one sns topic because there was an option create deployment and now this is going to be a time taking process once we set the deployment because this is blue green deployment so zip and no we erred so let us go back this card and before that uh why don't we bring down the number of ec2 instances from four to two okay so that because to for proof of concept two is good enough so that the ec2 instances asg will create two more ec2 instances great and we need to edit it and we need to make it blue green here and then everything else is okay Read out traffic immediately. Terminate the original instances in the deployment group. Zero day, zero hours, zero minutes. Okay. Deployment configuration, if you want, you can select new one as well. But let us do de code deploy all at once. That's good. It will save some time. Load balancer is good. This is a good setting. Otherwise, if we did not have this option, then there was no flexibility now if we want we can save the instances the old instances so you know what happens in blue green a new asg is created which is a replica of your current asg it will create two ec2 instances and new application revision will be deployed there and then application uh all the traffic will be diverted on new ASGs EC2 instances and the previous ASGs EC2 instances they will stop receiving the traffic and then that is where they will get deleted and this is when you can choose when they can be deleted okay save changes and create deployment and now okay I think we have made all the changes that we wanted to create deployment and now we need to wait wait for some good amount of time before these changes take effect it is happening and if you want we have gone through all this right if you want you can parallelly continue looking at it right now there is only one ASG very soon you have another ASG and it will have two instances and it is going to use the same launch configuration so 
two exact similar EC2 instances will be created by this exact similar launch ASG and then you will have the new application revision running there and then the old ones will be deleted. That's how it is going to pan out. Okay. Very soon you will see the old as well as new one, both new on new one. The new ones will appear once the deployment will start on them. And the deployment can only start once they are in provision, right? That is what it is waiting for. That is in service, not in provision, in service. Okay. So very soon you will see that the deployment on new EC2 instances has started. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back if everything goes green. So now traffic is getting routed on the new EC2 instances, replacement EC2 instances. You can check the target group. Yes. Okay. These are not, okay, if you're confusing that earlier as well, we had four. We brought it down to two, if you remember. So right now, we have both the versions available, blue as well as green, as you see. That is why it is blue-green deployment, that there is a short period of time when both the application versions are available. So if the full capacity of servers was two, right now it is serving at four. At so at no point in time, your application is serving, is being served by less than two number of EC2 instances. So you're never serving with less than 100% capacity. At one point, you're serving with 200% capacity, but never less than that. So allow traffic has hap is happening. Very soon, this will be done. And as soon as this is done, on this two, these are the events scheduled. That is to block the traffic. And once traffic is blocked, then termination will start. And it will exactly say at the very top, rerouting traffic to replacement instances, then terminating original instances. And before that, stopping traffic on the original instances. All right. And when I subscribed to the... To, in fact, when I created the triggers, these were the email notifications I received. Your AWS code deploy trigger ARN. My first topic is able to send notification for the SNS topic you specified. All subscribers to the topic will receive notification related to the events you specified for this trigger. Thank you. Okay. Great. Okay. After allow traffic. And this is the time when block traffic has started. And this means draining. Okay. And this means only the latest version is available. Only the green is available. Two IP addresses. Okay. Great. Now let us wait. And I'll pause the video so that it can complete the whole deployment process and these two EC2 instances are deleted. Then we will once again fire the APIs and we'll see how it pans out. Okay, so now it is done. The deployment is successful. Great. Wonderful. Now one last thing left to do is test the APIs. The ALB endpoint is still the same. So, yep, we can create the table and, oh, okay, we were too soon. And we can delete the table as well. All right. So, congratulations, we have successfully deployed the application through blue green deployment. Okay. That's it. That's it for this whole section. And 
In next section, we will see how code pipeline can make our life easier. So thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next section.